Hello everybody and welcome. This is Bro United Gaming coming to you with part 6 of Destroy All Humans. We will be doing missions 11 and 12 to 100% completion. I would like to add, thank you so much if you've been watching all of my videos. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope you've subscribed to my channel to continue. Uh, and I hope you put the little like button. So enjoy the video. of the broadcast depends on you, Crypto. You must protect those towering transmission towers! Each tower has a transmitter at its base. If the army want to stop the broadcast, they'll have to take out those transmitters first. Regiments two and four, form up the main junction. One and three, take the flank. Attack waves, target the infrastructure. I want those comm towers out of commission. Support waves, your task is simple. Destroy the communist insurgents holding the television station. No beet-eating, vodka-swilling, Trotsky-eyed son of a bitch is gonna hijack this great nation's God-given airways. Not on my watch. Charge! <laughs> All right, guys, so what you have to do for your optional objective is to destroy those soldiers with explosives. Now, hopefully you don't miss, like I just did, there is a limited amount of uh, explosives. And trust me, guys, I have, this is the most up-to-date version of what I did. This particular mission, as far as getting all the optional objectives, took me longer than it should have but I finally figured it out and I will tell you more about it as we go on in the video but right now let's stick to what we're looking at now and um, yeah so without further ado so other than just exploding the soldiers with, uh, with the tank uh, explosives uh, pretty much all you have to do is just make sure that objectives 1 and 2 do not get destroyed in any way, shape, or form. Um, there is a small coalition that happens on the right. That's the only one that happens for the beginning wave. Um, like I said, guys, I've done this quite often. I kind of know where everybody is. Um, but, yeah, so pretty much all you have to do is just kill everybody and make sure that this time limit goes down. Um... Throwing, throwing soldiers. Any, anyway, I just like I said. So, there's explosives all around you. Um, there's some behind you. Some to the left side of the street, right side of the street. Um, but other than that, I think there may be one on top of the roof. If I'm not mistaken. Um, but there's a few. So I don't know if you guys knew this. Um, I just did it now in the videos. I grabbed a grenade while I was in mid air. You can grab a grenade all the way up until the point before it explodes and then throw it at somebody. That will definitely, and I repeat, definitely come in handy later in this video. Um, I'm sad to say that this is the first time that I figured that out uh, was during this playthrough. Um, I was able to pick it up, or I think it was one of the playthroughs. Um, but I was glad that I figured it out because like I said this was a brutal experience for me to uh, figure out how to get past all of this <clears throat> and then once it goes to the countdown you officially saved it and now any soldiers that are lingering behind will uh, will only attack you they won't actually attack the, um, the towers themselves Tanks! 
tanks. Roll in the tanks. Show them some American steel. So, this general is now trying to destroy these things with tanks because all his own foot soldiers couldn't stop. Now, for this optional objective, you have to kill the soldiers with rockets. Now, remember, like I said, remember you catch the nades, but you can also catch rockets that are targeted at you. And with doing so, you can throw them back and kill the soldiers. Or, on the flip side, if you're standing next to soldiers and a rocket just so happens to hit your shield or yourself and blow up, that also is acceptable in killing soldiers. Like I said, boom. See, it hit my shield and I killed two soldiers with the rocket. Um, but yeah, so, so you can catch those at... At that time, I wasn't fully aware. Um, but see, I tried shooting it. That doesn't that doesn't work. The only thing that really catches it is you either dodge or you catch them in midair. Um, I was having issues in, in this particular uh, portion of the game trying to figure that stuff out because I had no idea, um, and I feel kind of foolish for not knowing that we could do that. So. Anyway, yeah, so after you get the two rocket kills, like I said, either throwing them at the, the soldiers or physically taking the rockets and killing the soldiers, uh, you still have to defend the two towers. Uh, the general thinks that continuously throwing tanks and soldiers is just going to ultimately beat everything. And so see, this is the left side. Those are the other explosives are at um, in case you guys weren't able to find more there on the left side as well so um, a good way to kill these guys fast is to catch the vehicle before they ever offload and hopefully that you can destroy the vehicle before they offload or in the midst of them almost or most of them being offloaded and still surrounding the vehicle it'll still blow them up um, but it is useful to shoot it and blow it up um, before it actually uh, they offload all of their their soldiers so in this particular one uh, in wave two the soldiers come from the front the side and the rear the rear is a big one that you have to uh, watch out for because usually tower two is the one that's going to be affected the most because most of your efforts are on uh, tower one um, because that's where the bulk of the wave is and then every so often you'll have people coming in um, from the rear and usually your, your compatriot that talks to you from the mothership will notify you that there's uh, that they're attacking the, the, the second tower and um, it's, it's pretty easy you just turn around kill them and then continue so like I said this is wave two of three so um, once you've completed both of those it uh, <clears throat> Uh, you just have to wait for the time limit to go down, and then once the time limit is down, and then wave three will start. Those towers now! All units, attack! 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 All right, guys. So this is wave three. Apparently, the general thought that I don't know sending tanks, the uh, American steel wasn't good enough to so send robots instead. So, like I said prior. Um, remember that you can pick up grenades when they hit the ground before they explode or in mid-air. Um, there I am catching a rocket uh, like you can in the, in the previous wave if you didn't figure out how to do that the first time. Once you just lock onto it like you're locking onto a person and you can catch those guys. So now, well, it took me so long to figuring out why this is so hard. 
um, was because uh, grenades don't kill people as fast as rockets do. So, I was throwing grenades at people and it wasn't working because they weren't killing them. That's why it was taking me so long to figure it out. Um, I was thinking that the rocket, uh, that they had to throw a grenade and that the grenade had to blow up while I was standing next to it and having people on there. Um, which does work as well, but uh, not as effective so they don't always throw grenades. Um, or if they do throw a grenade, it's not reliably standing next to somebody uh, or near somebody that can blow them up and then catching somebody and, then, and moving it to them is not always feasible because then you're having to like pay attention to everybody else that's shooting at you. You can't just focus all your efforts on just grabbing that one person because you may be close to death. Um, those big robotic vehicles that you see, um, they are, they do throw a lot of grenades and all you have to do is get their attention and hope that you can, you can get their, um, get them to shoot grenades at you. Uh, for the most part, they do throw, they throw a bunch of grenades, um, clearly. Like right now, see all those grenades that he's throwing? Um, you should be able to pick those up and throw them multiple times. Um, destroying those big tankers and destroying uh, people give you the points for the optional objective. Alright guys, uh, we're going to take a quick intermission right here. If you liked the video, click that like button and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments on how I can improve my videos, please leave it on the comments below. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Now we should be able to discover what happened to Crypto 136. My scans have identified several radioactive areas in your vicinity. But there is one in particular that looks like it could be a crash site. Alright, so for this objective, all we really have to do is make entry into the crash site where your fellow crypto uh, crashed into. So you can kind of um, find somebody that you can morph into so you can move about quietly. Sadly, you can't just go rock them, sock them, shoot them all up. Um, but it's all right. So once you get an identity, you go down there and um, all you really have to do is just assess the, the crash site. So once you realize that your buddy's vehicle isn't there and uh, then your, your buddy's going to ask you to go find it, um, go find the fragments and technology of the of his ship now i mind you that there is a piece there is a piece of uh at the top of the hill to my left and you'll notice that i completely bypass it and <clears throat> don't look at it whatsoever because i don't look at my map like an idiot but um, I'm able to at least collect the other pieces for the most part, um, and, and most of the guys that are standing around, they can see through your camouflage or your hologram, so I definitely suggest that you like wipe their mind. It makes it a whole lot easier for you to uh, gain access to those areas without making too much of a, a ruckus while you're in the, the camp um, grabbing those pieces. So you're going to have to go to the front gate. Um, you're going to talk to this lovely soldier to gain access to the base. Um, reading his mind doesn't do anything for uh, at least the, the answer. So you can request access, um, but that really doesn't do anything for you. He says no, uh, clearly, because you can see that here. Um, so he said, but it doesn't affect the game itself. Uh, you can definitely still move on. Um, the real answer is to threaten to report him, um, and that that'll get you access to the base. Yes, sir. Right away. I don't know why, but I guess he's afraid that he's going to lose his job for whatever reason. Um, so continue on. 
Repeat. Another fragment piece with another jerk. Get him. Get him. Because there's two of them in that, that area. And then move to the other one. And then I realize here shortly that there's a piece that I am missing. And that's the piece that I was talking about getting up onto that canyon. So here's me jungling how to figure out which way I should go. And I ended up going back and grabbing that piece um, and it, it doesn't hurt to, to erase their minds more than once um, I mean I don't know if it hurts them particularly but it doesn't hurt you any um, yeah so you have to go all the way around back to where uh, you first started so I highly recommend that you get it now or get it when you first begin then when you get to where I'm at and you're already on the base and you're already moving through uh, to get it. Now, don't get me wrong, grabbing this piece is extremely easy because once you grab the piece, you can just drop right back into the base over the fence. So there we go, over the fence, get my uh, hologram back in order. Oh, oh, ah, he died, but okay nobody caught me nobody caught me Woo. that was a tough one most people catch you and their head start popping but luckily i didn't get ca captured that time um so now you do is just get the last piece uh same thing just erase just block the two dudes that are standing there and then um you'll be able to grab the piece without any issues where could these humans Oh, he came back, he came back. All right. Now you wait, because you obviously have nowhere you're going. So now you have to use your either pop brains, or what you can do is you can use a probing gun, and you can... Um, but this does alert the people that are on the base. Um, so I highly recommend that you get a good vantage point like I did. Um, and it, I mean, the probe works as far as uh, you've upgraded it. So I've upgraded it kind of far just so that I can reach those far people uh, without being detected, so to speak. But um, yeah, so once you collect all those uh, brain stems, um, look at that. Uh, and that's how you complete this optional objective is just probe everybody until you get all the brains that you need. And then you have to find a way to go incognito again after this. Um, just so that you can read everybody's mind and not have to worry about people trying to kill you. Um, the best way to do it is how I'm doing it now that I've seen without, you know, too much damage or having to leave the base again. That's actually where we're headed to next, but clearly we don't know that because of where the mission is at. Because we're still in the green zone. So what I did is I, I peered over doing that third person peak view. Um, and I was able to capture somebody uh, with the yellow outline and actually was able to clone them like that and I hopped off the other side so that the soldiers didn't see me just fall from the roof other than that guy but he wasn't looking and I was able to continue on my way and, and gather uh, everybody's minds so heading to the base something really weird happened I was maintaining my hologram and for whatever reason my guy just decided to teleport back into nothingness and I was, you know, that sucks. So I tried to make that guy do some, you know, like the, some dance and stuff to distract people, but that did not work. So instead of being the smart thing to do and head back to that base, I decided to stay on this base and hide again. And this actually happened more than once where the hologram actually failed me. Um, that was the first time. And then once they stopped looking at me, I decided to drop down into a secure location 
our secure area and um, take another hologram on, which then ended up failing me again and me having to come back to this position. But this is me waiting. I should have probably picked that up to see what's underneath, but oh well. You live and learn. So I saw, oh look, nobody's standing in that area except for those of you guys. So I'm going to take since nobody's really looking this way. I hopped in here. You think you can go oh. So I took his. And I went the other way. Thinking, oh, clever me. Hey, I'm just coming out from whatever. And boop, it happened again. So I had to, to run and hide. But hiding didn't work. Because clearly they all knew where I was at. So I had to skedaddle out of there. And instead of, you know... I think, yeah, I took his body and that's what worked. For whatever reason, just those two bodies didn't work for me. And um, But the third time's the charm, so to speak. And uh, I was able to, oh, never mind, I lied. I was not able to. <laughs> Yeah, for some odd reason, I, my disguise kept disappearing even though nobody was around. So I decided to run away as far as possible and get behind this rock. So this is the entranceway into the compound. Um, I ended up not grabbing that... Uh, I, I forget the name of the, the, the floating objects. Uh, I, I plan on making another video later after I finish all the main missions on how to collect all of those through every single part. So stay tuned for that. Um, for some reason, I had a hard time jumping over this crate. Um, but so the whole thing is that you're just going to uh, read the minds of these agents and kind of move through. Um, actually, read the minds of anybody that's on the compound. Not, just kidding just the agents themselves um they're pretty easy to find obviously because they're all in black uh just like the men in black but um so there you go there's the last guy and you kind of realize where the uh the lab is at so now you got to move your way through all of that nightmare um i tried different methods uh wiping their minds that was one method that i had um, it worked. There was one method that I tried that could have worked if I would have used it in a different area. Preferably somewhere where uh, a lot more people were at. I tried, uh, I tried give, making him be like a distraction. But clearly you can see on, on the video that there's nobody there to actually do the distraction. Um, I did try... Uh, that course, guy that was sitting was there, um, since I really couldn't see the the dude that was on the other side of that door, I tried him, and that ended up working. Um, really don't know why I bothered to deal with him, like but color. since I that guy was distracting, I unlocked the door, and I went inside. I really thought you'd be alive. Ah, oh, Crypto. Look what they've done to us. Laid us open like an animal. How could intelligent creatures do this? Okay, monkeys. You want a war? You got a war. All right, what an abomination. They have brutally murdered my brother. My, my clone? No, I'm his clone, because I'm seven, he's six. So, he destroyed my creator. Um, but no, so everything in here, just destroy it. Uh, for whatever reason, I was having issues destroying stuff, which, you know, shouldn't be that much of an issue. I tried to maintain the, the image that I had 
but in the grand scheme of things, just just become an alien again and and shoot up the the rest of the place. It's so much easier. You really, like nobody really cares. Nobody goes inside until you're done. Um, that I'm aware of. Um, never really had to worry about everybody. So this optional objective, I kind of didn't see it right off the bat, and it it really saddened me that I didn't see it because I could have done a whole lot of damage to all those people. But um, yeah, so I ended up running all the way back to the mothership um, like you see now I, I was trying to be stealthy because I still thought that I had to be stealthy um, but yeah so there's the mothership I ended up confusing that guy I almost get all the way to the mothership like you see um, in the next couple minutes almost bypassed it um, Nobody really cares that uh, I'm an alien, and it wasn't until, like I said, I almost got to the, I actually got to the spaceship, never mind. I got to the spaceship and I realized, oh, I can kill people, and then I went on a, a murderous rampage. So the way that you get this optional objective is once you trash the place, um, just wreck everybody. Easy enough, I just gotta do is just kill enough humans to, um, to satisfy the the, the quest um, yeah so just just run around pretty easy once you get uh, 13 people pretty much you blow them up I never tried blowing up the big guys uh, it takes too long um, but destroying all the little guys is the easy part I do love that skate thing that that is by far one of the best sessions ever created in the in this game just so much fun to, to, to patrol around it I, I did a little bit of extra carnage um, to satisfy myself because I had forgotten that I could have done it um, so here I am going back to the mothership um, and yeah that's it all right guys well that is the end um, I do appreciate you guys watching this video. If you did like this video, like it and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch further videos. This has been Bro United Gaming. Thank you so much.